here we're going to be looking at some practice maths questions. 3 at C grade, 3 at B grade, 3 at A grade and then 1 A star grade. If you haven't watched it already, go and watch my video which talks you through how to do all the different maths questions. Just in case you forget, I've got my tips for answering math questions just here for you. So this is our first one. Primrose lifts a toy mass 0.1 kilograms off the floor. Calculate its weight. So the first thing we need to do is to work out all of our all of our numbers in our equation. Here, I've already told you that it's the mass of 0.1 kilograms and we need to work out the weight. So the equation we're going to be using is weight equals mass times gravity. The number we put for mass is 0 0.1 and gravity, sometimes they tell you the number of gravity, sometimes they don't. It's one of the ones you have to remember and that is 10. So if we just plug those numbers in to our calculator, we get 1 newton. Don't forget to write down the unit. Primrose has a mass of 1.8 kilograms and runs at 20 metres per second. Find her momentum. So we circle all the numbers. I've already told you what they are. We've got mass here and we have velocity here because it's in metres per second. Find the formula from the formula sheet. Momentum is one of the funny ones where it's actually a P for momentum, not a P for power. And that is mass times velocity. So our mass is 1.8, our velocity is 20, pop those into your calculator and we are going to get 36. And the unit we need for this one is kilogram meters per second. Quite a tricky one to remember that. So I picked Primrose up from the floor, her weight is 18 newtons and I put it on the sofa. The sofa is 0.7 meters from the floor. Calculate the amount of work that I had to do. So even though here I've told you her weight is newtons, is 18 newtons, newtons is also the unit for force. Here we have M, this is a distance or a height. Calculate the amount of work that I had to do. So here we have the equation for work, which is force times distance. My force is 18 newtons. My distance is 0 0.7 meters. 18 times 0 0.7 is 12.6 joules. Moving on to some slightly trickier questions now. Primrose jumps two meters from a fence her mass is 1.8 kilograms. Ch find the change in gravitational potential energy. So here we have a distance. And here we have a mass. So three things involved here. Gravitational potential energy is mass times gravity times height. So her mass is 1.8, gravity you need to remember is 10, and height is 2 metres. So if we just pop all of those in the calculator, we will get 36, and again that is measured in joules. Find Primrose's kinetic energy when she runs at 8 metres per second, and her mass is 1.8 kilograms. So that's her mass. And this is her velocity. So kinetic energy we're looking for and kinetic energy is half mass velocity squared. So we have half times 1.8 times 8 squared. So I like to break this down into little sections. So we can do half times 1.8 times 64, which is 8 squared. It's always best to break it down into little sections so that you don't get confused in the exam. Altogether, that is 
and again this is another one that's measured in joules you really need to be careful with this squared bit here it does confuse people okay if i put if primrose puts in 4.5 joules of energy to move a 3 newton object how far can she move it this is energy and this is force This is a slightly tricky question here because energy here isn't kinetic energy, it's in gravitational potential energy, it is actually work done. So this is one of the ones in the exam you're really going to have to use what you know to work out which equation we're going to be using. We're going to be using work done equals force times distance. So we need to do a bit of rearranging equations here. We need to get this 3 over to the other side, so to do that we need to divide. Now we just need to do our mass, that's 4.5 divided by 3, and the distance equals 1.5 metres. So again, we're moving on to trickier questions now. Primrose runs along and has 472 joules of kinetic energy. She is travelling at 4 metres per second. Find her mass. So this is her velocity. And this is her kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is half mass velocity squared. So there are a couple of ways you can do this. You can either rearrange the equation or you can put the numbers in and then rearrange it. That's what I like to do. So we have 47 equals half times mass. That's the bit we're trying to find out. Times velocity squared. So I've just worked through the numbers there. Now we need to rearrange the equation. So 472 divided by 8 equals 59 kilograms. Primrose is running at 4 metres per second and increases to 5.5 metres per second. If her weight is 18 newtons, calculate the increase in kinetic energy. Now there were a large number of different parts to this equation. So this is her weight. And we need to find her mass for the equation that we're using. Because kinetic energy is half mass velocity squared. So the equation we need to use first is weight is mass times gravity. If her weight is 18 newtons, we're trying to find her mass. We know that gravity is 10. We do 18 divided by 10. So her mass is 1.8 kilograms. So we need to find out two things after this. We need to find out how far she is running initially, how far she is running overall, and then find the difference between the two of them. So I'm going to label this as EK1 for first. That is half times mass times velocity squared. So we do the squared bit first. Half times 1.8 times 16. So that is going to equal 14.4 joules. And then I'm going to do her um, kinetic energy afterwards. I'm going to go EK2. So that's half times 1.8 times 5.5 squared. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is 5.5 squared. And we're going to have half times 1.8 times 30.25. Then work all of those out. Which is going to give us 27.225 joules. And now I need to find the difference between the two of them. So I just need to take 27.225 minus 14.4 equals 
12.8 joules and that's her increase in kinetic energy. So Primrose has a mass of 1.8 kilograms and jumps from 1.9 meter tree. Find her velocity on the way down. This again, we are moving some really, really tricky questions here, and you need to combine two equations to find this. So this is her mass, and this here is the distance. So the first thing we need to do is find her gravitational potential energy. And that is mass times gravity times height. So 1.8 times 10 times 1.9 equals 34.2 joules. So now we know how much gravitational potential energy she had at the top and on her way down. Now we can use the equation for kinetic energy, half mass velocity squared to work this out because we know how much energy she had. We know the half, we know her mass is 1.8, and then we can work out the velocity squared. Now I like to do the maths bit first and then do the rearranging, but if you want to do it the other way around, that is absolutely fine. I'm just going to move up here to give myself a bit of space. So 38 equals velocity squared. And now we need to do the square root of this. So the velocity is going to be 6.2 meters per second. So this is our last question. You can see this is quite a tricky question. Because instead of giving you words to interpret, they've given you pictures to interpret. And they just want you to find the power. So we have here, we have a height. We have a mass. And we have a time. And we need to find power. So there are a couple of ways you can approach this. You can either look at the equation for power and um, work backwards. So work out what sort of things that we need. Or you can work forwards. So we can see to find out power, we use energy divided by time. We already have time. We have that up here. And what I'd like to do now is to find energy using these two things here. So we can say that gravitational potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height. So that would be 1.8 times 10 times 0.2. So the gravitational potential energy in this situation, 1.8 times 10 times 0.2, is going to be 3.6 joules. We can then put this into the other equation. Power equals 3.6 divided by 15. And we are going to get 0.24 watts. Lots of really tricky questions there, guys. If you manage to get all of them, well done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, brimmerskating.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.